Namaste Travelers, Tara here, and I'm coming to you today with a general reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for June 2016. This is a general reading, which means that the messages may, will not resonate with all, in which case you do need to come back and view your Moon and Rising sign as they are posted. Okay, um, if you want information on your situation, the best way to get that is through a personal reading with me. That way I can tune into you personally, your energies and your situation, what's going on. Um, a brief little rundown here. Uh, Mercury did go direct on the 22nd of May. Um, however, it takes a couple of weeks for a planet to pick up speed back to normal. So by June 7th, um, Everything should be in the all clear. You may already be feeling an easing of tension with Mercury going uh, direct, uh, but just know it can still play a few tricks in the shadow phase. Mercury is known as the trickster. We have Saturn and Sagittarius. We have Pluto. We have Mars. Those planets are retrograde. I think it's one more, but I can't call it up right now. Um, we are halfway at the halfway point of 2016, and in three months, we will go through our final series of eclipses for 2016 game changers so what we're going to be doing is just doing we're going to do the hidden lotus spread and we're going to see what possible energies could be coming up for the month of june 2016 for aquarius sun moon and rising I think there's some kind of transit going on around Aquarius right now because I keep seeing this King of Swords pop up a lot. That and the King of Wands. Could be the same person. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Well. Moon in Aquarius. Wow. Eight of Wands. My, 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 Aquarius. This is a very, very odd spread. One, two, three, four major arcana cards. Whatever this situation is, You have some modicum of control over it. Not quite. I think there are some elements. I can tell you off the bat, whatever this is, we have the Mars-Pluto retrograde. Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto. Mars is the ancient ruler, the planet of war, the god of war. And Pluto was the god of the underworld. Okay, so this is about um, fights, arguments, passion, willpower, uh, anger, and it is also about shining a light on those things that are deep, dark, and nasty, uh, raising them to the ground uh, because Pluto is a fire, represents fire. And he comes in through death to end things and to bring about a brand new transformation. That is the exit card. Now we do have Capricorn, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Saturn in Sagittarius right now. But Saturn is ruled by, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. This speaks to limitations, restrictions, <clears throat> feeling blocked, tied down, bound. But Jupiter is in Virgo. There's a Jupiter card, and here's the Virgo card. So these are definite planetary influences that you guys are going through. Whatever this situation is, you really feel this way. Um, now, as you can see from the imagery of that card, um, it is a mocking of social norms. The Hierophant has the exact same pose, but it's done differently, right? And those two people bound at the base of the devil's 
little podium there, those chains are very, very loose. They can remove themselves. This could be an addiction. It could be staying in a situation that's not good for you. Um, but it could also be playing devil's advocate because we do have Aquarius. And Aquarius is a very, very highly intellectual mental side. They live on the mental realm. So this could literally be um, playing games, taking a risk. All right? A, a mental game is what this could be. Um, now, for some of you, and I don't know, we're going to read it both as for heterosexual and same sex. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Um, it doesn't read like a romantic relationship. It doesn't really read like a work relationship. In one respect, this line does. Um, with the major arcanas, this is a spiritual relationship or a spiritual issue is what this is. And there is some confusion around it. <coughs> now, and I don't know if that confusion is being perpetrated by an Aquarian or if there is someone else maybe engaging in the confusion. Um, but I have this Queen of Cups here. And this represents a water sign. She's going to be either a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. And this person, in regards to an Aquarian person, is feeling stuck in a situation and also isolated as if they don't know their way out. And they are isolated because someone's playing either mental games or emotional games with them. And thus far, they have been successful at it. Okay? It came through with an offer. Those cards fell like this. Struggle up. Twist of fate. Something happening out of the blue. An offer coming. See if I can kind of get a, uh, uh, a timing on this for you. I'm going to say, this is Jupiter, Jupiter, and Leo. Uh, Jupiter went into Virgo last year in August, August 2nd to 11th. Now, if this person is not a water sign, it is someone who is has these very, very soft, kind qualities. Okay? And... Um, This offer was a karmic, the devil and death with the wheel, the three most karmic cards in the deck. But you see, it takes two people to participate in this because it both looked like a victory, Jupiter and Leo became attached, became bound, but continued with it anyway. The moon in Aquarius, the Lord of unstable effort. It's as if suddenly either you, the Aquarian person, realizes that Okay, that's enough of this. I can't do the games. That's enough. Maybe this person is playing because this queen can also be quite manipulative in, in her own way. Okay. So maybe this is two people who have come together. One definitely of the Aquarian sign and the other person, if not a water sign, someone who has those qualities. And this was... Um, it might have been fun while it lasted. The sex was great. But there's something not... It's going to end. And if it hasn't, it's on its way out. 
quite swiftly, someone is going to be leaving. Um, these are things set in motion. Um, it may be that someone hasn't told someone that. Maybe they're behaving in one manner, but they're actually planning to do something else. They've taken a break to contemplate and think. Because really, who wants to be stuck in this energy of the devil? And the devil is not always bad. But as I can see from here, the fun's already been had. It doesn't look like it's fun anymore. Now, if this is a work situation, I, and I don't view it, it, it really does not read like a work situation, but I'm going to tell you what I can see in terms of that. It could very well be that <clears throat> if you're in a work situation, you know, it kind of fell into your lap. Maybe this represents, you know, falling in love with what it is you're doing or you thought you were going to fall in love with it. But when you got there, <laughs> it turned out to be something totally, totally different as if someone hid the truth from you. Okay. And now you're trying to go in within yourself, Aquarius, to try to figure out what the hell you're going to do. But you already know that it's going to have to come to an end. And you are just going to do so quite suddenly. You may not even give notice. The devil has it to say, screw you. I'm out of here. I want to take a look. This is a very, very odd spread especially this last row as if even the cards are saying you know you've even been lying to yourself the moon with the hermit you've been deceiving yourself about a situation and that has to come to an end in fact you don't have a choice because the wheel of fortune says that it will come to an end you're supposed to take up the message or the banner <clears throat> and try to move through this as quickly as you possibly can. Um, now, if some of you are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarian person, male or female, and I know you recognize this situation, this is a quite specific situation. I'm actually quite surprised by the cards that have come out. Um, hanging on just because the sex is good or hanging on because there's something uh, that someone is doing that makes you feel good or that you enjoy doing with that person, but you know that it's really not the best thing for you to do. This is on both fronts. Um, the Aquarian person and whomever this queen represents. Um <clears throat> Moon and Aquarius, Moon and Aquarius, the Lord of unstable effort. See, we go from a gift to the Lord of victory to the Lord of unstable effort. Uh, the energies of the universe no longer support this, whatever this is. I can't read this. This is the Lord of swiftness. And look what came out underneath, the Lord of Sorrow. Um, if you're going through this, anyone of the Aquarian sign, Sun, Moon, or Rising, if you represent this Queen of Cups here, um, You will move through this space. It won't be easy, but you'll move through it. Let's take a look at what the devil is trying to tell me. It's the fun has really gone out of this. I don't think there's really anything left to salvage. Um, it's unstable effort to try because it's like that. 
it's going to go poof. Um, that's what that Eight of Wands is telling me. This is literally somebody moving away, getting on a plane and leaving. And whatever has been set in motion can't be stopped now. It's inevitable. This deck. Reunion. Delirante. Falsita. The karmic nature is that it was uh, coming together. There have been lots and lots of ugly things happening. This could even, these people are drunk, so it could have been a lot of drinking, uh, stuff that was hidden. It could be drugs, abuse. It could be physical abuse, something hidden and something that has kept you chained. I feel basically that it was just good sex. Okay. But there was never the right intention. It, it was a surface kind of a thing. And the universe brought this about because somehow or another, this person in this situation is there to teach you this lesson, to clear you of something. I don't know what you need to be cleared of, but there's something that needs to be cleared. These are the three most karmic cards in the deck. This is the, the card of deceit. This is the card of um, of um, spying, stalking, um, saying one thing and doing another, behaving in a deceitful manner, or just flat outright lying and cheating. Um, <laughs> um, I've also seen this card talk about a home move. And I, I have to bring that up because the three cards are the Prigioni the casa and the alegria and in a sense what it's telling me is that this could have been a situation where there was someone who was married or in a relationship and they've been sneaking around with this other person they had never planned on leaving okay and so when they're not with you they're out with their family and their friends That's why you're in this space. Be you then the Aquarian or this person who's represented. Um, this is speaking to about two people. Um, I want to see whatever this, I want to see what the eight, I don't need to look at the death card. I don't need to look at that. That tells me that it's over. It's final. No one can escape death, no matter how it comes. Um, when situations have reached their normal, natural conclusion, that's it. It's done. Um, let me see what this Eight of Wands is talking about. This is someone moving on. This is, this is about someone moving on. Someone has already made the decision that, there, that there's a new something coming up. They may not have even found it just yet, but they're already on the lookout for something new. Okay? They're, they're simply waiting for the opportunity to come. And once it comes they're going to be ready. This is the card of passion and communication. You see, this person is thinking about having a relationship, some kind of, uh, this guy makes contracts. He makes deals. Uh, he's all about putting things together that work best for him. Okay. So he can get the best out of it. He hasn't found this person yet, but when he does, um, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Oh, wait, I'm not done. Because underneath the deck, underneath the devil, we have that hidden element, remember? Remember I said it hasn't happened yet? Something brand new coming up. Now, when I look at this, 
there's an offer, there's a message, and in one respect, this thing ends, but we also know that that's a new beginning. But whatever this original situation is, it's pretty much a done deal. It's a done deal. Um, in terms of the timing on this, well, hell, the, tr <laughs> the truth of the matter is, you know, it to me, it would seem that the sooner the better. Uh, there's less pain that way. And this is three people in a situation. Some kind of way. And if it's not three people just yet, there's going to be the entrance of a third person coming up very, very soon. All right, that's what I have for you. I hope the message helped. Namaste.